Hey everybody, over the summer I showed a uh, technique for jigging these 3mm ejector sleeves to make this disc detainer pick end. And what it ultimately produced was an extension of the shaft. And guess what? You don't need to do it. No, you don't have to do it. You can do it free-handed with a Dremel and car Arbor cutoff disc. Let me explain. So you buy your three millimeter ejector sleeve with 1.5 millimeter ejector pin. You want the one that has the small head. They sell on AliExpress for about $10. This one measures about mm, just under four millimeters. So you're gonna take your bench grinder and you're gonna hold this thing horizontally and you're gonna spin it between your fingers and you're gonna take this thing down to 1.25 millimeters in thickness. So it's going to look like a nail head when you're finished. Just make sure you dip the, the, uh, the tip back and forth in water so you don't detemper it. Afterwards, you're going to take this ejector pin. Where is it? Right here. And you're going to insert it back in all the way down. And you're going to tape these two together. Well, you're going to take your Arbor cutoff disc and your Dremel, and you're going to hold this whole arrangement vertically between your legs. And then you're going to take this guy and hold it horizontally and lightly press it up against the ejector pin head and light pressure downward. And as you do that, with very consistent, just be consistent. Don't add more pressure. Um, do not deviate. And if you do it, and if you kind of hold it at a slight angle, you're going to wind up with a 3 millimeter shaft extension. Ultimately, you just want to take it down to about 0.5 millimeters. You can afford about 0.53 as well. And if you do it what exactly what I said, wow, you can get a very nice looking, well-produced disc detainer tip. Well, once you get that all produced, obviously you're going to have to cut down the material even on both sides. you got to really be patient with that because if you're like me, you'll nick the shaft as I did here. Not a big deal. It's not going to affect the performance of the tool. But guys, to me, this is a really huge game changer in terms of time. And I can make these things very quickly. Really no skill required. So what do you need? water, a bench grinder, a micrometer, and a Dremel tool with an Arbor cutoff disc. This is a total game changer. Well, I hope you liked what I have to show you today, and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.